Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Back to Sea of Stars tonight. Um, we're probably on the final stretch here. We've done most of the side bits. We've got 50-some of the Rainbow Conches. Um, I think we turned in the last bit, right? Actually, where are we at? Where are we at here? We stopped back at Mirth here to just take a peek at what was going on and discovered a few things, and now we're at... 50. Okay, we're at, yeah, we're at a flat 50. Um, we we're trying to figure out, like, right, wheels champion and shit, I don't care. There's treasure up there, which we might go for. That one's clear. There's a conch in this one somewhere, in Lucent. Oh, that's interesting. That one's clear. There's some treasure there. That one we can't do. Wheels champion, don't care about that one's clear. That's clear. That's clear. There's a conch over there, and brisk. So in Lucent and Brisk, there are still some conches and shit, so... Uh, wait, Lucent. Lucent was Wraith Island. Yeah, let's go to Wraith Island. I guess we didn't search, like, most of Wraith Island too terribly thoroughly, did we? Oh, plus there's a shrine here. This might be the last, uh, Solstice Shrine we needed, too. I don't know if we had the... Did we have the stuff to do this before? We might not have. We might not have had the grapple to get across here. Oh no, I guess not. So here we are. I think this is the last of the five that we need, and then we gotta find where the fuck it wants us to go with all of these. Which we haven't figured out yet. Um, but, you know, eventually. Eventually we'll figure it out, so. May as well just take care of this right away whilst we're here. Heck is okay. And wants to put something in there, which we do not have. Um, we can't do that. There's something in there apparently too. Oh wait. Uh. Oh, I thought something was highlighted there. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. We got some some weight stuff going on here. Oh, that's now actually just like that permanently. All right. You know what? I'm into that. And we've got. One of those. Ah, which, uh... Now we can't get to the thing that was behind there, because it's all blocked and shit. I get it. Okay, well, let's do that. <coughs> uh, is that... Okay, yep, now we can climb up and get whatever this is. Oh. Staff, is that good for Valer? It is not. It is, in fact... Way worse than what we have, so apparently we were supposed to be here a long time ago, and we just, we just didn't. Okay, well, I mean, you know, we got it, that's, that's good, I suppose. Um, okay, yep, let's hop on that one, I suppose. Do the same on the other one, I'm sure. I don't know if that necessarily means we can get... Uh, up there now, can we? I don't think we can... I don't think we can hop that far, can we? No, it's just kind of like, nah, you can't do that. Oh, I bet this resets this thing, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now let me go grab this thing again. Yeah, because that pops that back in, and now we can use it over here. Which, you know, I'm kind of curious what this is going to do. It's going to pop that down. Oh, I see, yeah. All right, now we jump our butts back up here, get that locked in, and now we can get all the way up there, get the second one, all right. It's all about order of operations here, that's fine, that's fine. Ah, because now we go, go put it up there. Um, actually, now I need to release that and re-grab this one. So I'm gonna need to put this one back in so we can get up there and put the second one in there. I think, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. Ah, I don't want to swap this around yet again. And then pop this in here and then go stand on the other one. And then climb our butts up there. Excellent. Easy. Well, 
maybe easy is the wrong word, but, you know, straightforward. Straightforward. Got a good read on it. Took care of the puzzle. And now we get whatever's going to be up here, right? Big thing in and then also this thing. Oh, Shimmering Sword, which I'm sure is probably outclassed by what Zale already has. Yes. By a significant amount. So, I mean, you know, sell shit. And a Solstice Sash. Hmm. Okay, well there's the last bit. Where the f*** is this place now? Now that we've broken all five seals or whatever. Oh, that looks mean. But okay, we can try to go find that then. And let's see what the Solstice Sash is all about. Magic attack plus seven. Oh, that's it? Really? That's not very special. It's essentially nothing. Because we've already got stuff on our two main ones that do way more than that. Uh, I could, we could give it to Zale instead of this. We'd gain two additional magic attack, but then we'd lose the the magic point restoration there, which I kind of want to keep. Because, uh, you know, magic is kind of important here. Alright, so, got it. Got this taken care of. Kind of on accident. So we weren't really intending to do that right away, but hey, we're here. So we're just kind of land over here instead. <laughs> okay, so there's a conch in Lucent. There's also a conch in, uh, in Brisk. Let's see what we got. Oh, right, we were supposed to do something for... Uh... Isn't there somebody over here we were supposed to do something for? It was like, hey, you want to do this for us and blah, 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 or... I think of something. Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, we did whatever it is, uh, I think. Turbo cookie. Uh, no, we don't have your turbo cookie, I don't think. Where's your turbo cookie? Did we, like, get a hint about the turbo cookie or something at some point? And then I just kind of said, yeah, we'll do it, and then I just didn't do it? <clears throat> or maybe it's a thing we can cook. That could be too, actually. Um, do we have a recipe for a turbo cookie? We do not. Okay. So maybe it's kind of like a key item type thing. Huh? Maybe the tones folk know about it too. Uh, there's also an item shop up here. Did we ever visit this item shop? Could we have ever visited this item shop? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking for items. Also gonna sell the garbage, right? Sell that. Uh, we'll hang on to this. Most of this, I think, right? Yeah, it's. I guess it's worth stuff, but... Okay, I think we've already got one of those, right? Another one of those, and then the stuff that we have Gathered, but cannot use because it's actually worse than what we got. Uh, all right, cool. Equipment, what do we got? Yeah, we don't need any of that. Although, price reduction in all shops, ah, damn. <laughs> oh, that's one of the things you can turn on. All right, you know what, may as well buy it. We'll grab it just to have it. We won't use it, but we'll have it. Uh, and then what do you have just for stuff here? Oh, I get that. Whatever that is. Papiote, if I'm not, not pronouncing the letters correctly, I guess. Um, what is that? Um, here. It's probably a really early one, yeah? Uh, cures KO and then 50% to... Okay, so it's a weaker parfait. Yeah, alright. Well, didn't really miss that then. Yeah, I think we just probably ignored the the shops in here because we were doing some other things. I thought I'd see the day, blah, 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 blah a Banshee, etc., etc. Um, and there was something else about, like, gather the other things and then you can do a thing or whatever, right? 
Oh no, I remember being in here because I remember the books being old and boring. Where was it that I was like, hey, you gotta go get this other thing before it was like a it was a portrait on the wall or something, right? I think it was in one of these houses. Yeah, here we go. Let me get my brother to make amends. Yeah. What's that mean? Is that a different portrait or? <clears throat> Might be a different portrait in a different house or something. Yeah, here. No? Okay, not the right one. This one? No. The dog? Portrait of the dog? No. Okay, clips. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. yep. Novels. Snacks and stuff. Which I could go for. And she's gone, so why are the adults still afraid? Yada yada. Good question, kiddo. Really good question there. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Just trying to wrap up some side quests here before we get back to uh, actual progression. Which we seem to be nearing the end of, so I'm kind of taking my time. Don't want to send this away too quickly, you know? But, oh, I bet we can... Oh, I see. I see. We can hook over there. Could, did we hook over there already? I remember if we had. We also need to find a conch that's here. Ghost at the western end of the village. Not going anywhere near... Yeah, we know. We're supposed to find a turbo cookie for that ghost. Oh, and also that door wants something. <laughs> Very good. Ah, there we go. This looks... Slightly unfamiliar. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it's saleable. Less exciting. Ah, but I see. Now we're on the upper levels. Uh-huh. Ah, there's the turbo cookie for the for the ghost. The ghost pirate. The very uh risky boots looking ghost pirate over here, right? That was the Shantae pirate, I think. I think I've ever played any of the Shantae series, so I should be, I could be way off, but I heard it's a good series. Okay, so now we gotta go deliver this ghost's cookie. Here, I've got your turbo cookie. Oh, and it's a battle. Okay. <laughs> sure, fine. I mean, probably a battle we could have done several hours ago, so I imagine we are very well in the clear here. But just for grins, we'll play this as if it's uh, an actual threat. Laugh super hard at the. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she did just one shot it. Excellent. Search your grave. Okay. A shed key. Oh, okay. So that's the key for the door on the uh, east side of town there. Presumably, right? I mean, it's the only thing a door could ask for is a key, right? Okay. Down under the well here. Does this still count as part of the town? If we find the uh, conch here, I guess? Count as a... Oh, well, that's gonna be... This is an obvious like place we're gonna fall down, right? Clearly, since we very conspicuously <laughs> migrated everybody over here. It's like, yeah, sure. Yep. Gee. Did I call it or did I call it? <laughs> okay. What do we got going on here? Oh, alright. Oh, here! Maybe this is the uh, the quiz stuff that we can turn in now. Free up some 
space in our, uh... Oh, jeez. Uh, um... Share is gonna be found in the Forbidden Cavern. Uh... Those are the weird... Chicken headball things, right? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Okay. Use magic without using magic to do what? Um... Uh, use live mana to boost. We knew that. Uh... Okay. The name of Zenith Academy is Training Golem. I... Fucking... We have a training golem? <laughs> That's weird. With a Y? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, the secluded village of children and solstice are delivered. What is the name of that village? Uh, Moon Cradle. We knew that. And then, uh... Boosting regenerates MP. Uh, false. No. You, you regen MP just by doing an attack. Which then also doesn't, if you're boosting, does not regen MP. How much MP is recovered from a regular attack? Three. The magic RPG number. Uh, it's the enemy of two blunt locks and two sword locks. Which combo move can get you out? Uh... Solstice Strike. Yeah. It's the Blair Zale thing. Okay. So we got one wrong, clearly. Uh... Okay, well, how, can we just turn... Wait, 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 hold up a second. Okay, well, now we can go do it. Uh... No, I want to turn in the question pack things. Can we just... Or do we have to go in to do this? All right. Uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I see. Ah, wild. Um, so we're missing two and seven. I have no idea where those would be. All right, let's try question pack eight. Uh, expert. <laughs> Not appear in the derelict factory. Um, uh, the Ronin cowboy? Hey, good guess. Yeah, one in three chance, right? Uh, monstrosity found in the Fleshmancer's workshop had more than four tentacles. Oh boy. Um... No, I think it just had the four. We fought the two on the way down and then just had the two during the battle, right? False. Alright. Yeah, okay. Who invented the famous board game Wheels? Uh... Watchmaker definitely did not. We got him a wheels table. I... Did... I... I can't imagine it was the Fleshmancer. No. Yolanda? Oh shit, it was the Fleshmancer. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Honk. Okay, you get one wrong and that's it. Yeah, sure. Let's let's try it again. Just, just for grinsies. We'll do it one more time and then we'll, we'll set off. Uh, what is Sarai's village called? Uh, Ripine. We knew that. Homeworld, which entity is in charge of granting access to the Sea of Stars? Uh, the Sky Giants Council. I was wondering what we were supposed to do with all those question packs we were finding. Uh, this one has more than four tentacles. No, this one we already got. That's a big old false. Had exactly four. Units of fish are required to make one po- What the fuck? Uh, I remember it being kind of an obnoxious amount. So I'm gonna say eight. I don't think it was nine. Ah, fuck. Oh, honk. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, no, we don't want to play again. That's all right. Interesting. Okay, so we can get stuff from doing that, clearly, because we got a whatever shiny pearl, I think. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and then there's another... Does this open up like a little... Oh, interesting. Okay. So we can go there without 
going through the shed and dropping down and whatever, because I presume that other stairway up there is just literally to the shed. Oh, oh no, it's actually to somewhere different. That's interesting. What spell is the pleasant? Old and boring. City and ore for no particularly good reason. Was this the shed? No, this is somewhere else now. That's wild. Okay. How did we get in here to begin with? <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Um, I think this just goes out of town, yeah? No, we've, we've got business in Lucent yet. Gotta find a conch and a portrait's brother and, uh, well, that might be it, but that's a couple things to do yet. Um, so is it, would it be in the inn, maybe? Uh... And did we get any other extra music for Yolanda here? No, I guess not. Okay. I checked any of these from before. Here's when the fact did not... There's nothing to check. All right. Interest, can't get in there. Well, maybe we can't actually, it's just a door into the other spot there. Oh, that's probably where you actually go when you agree to have a rest or something. And this is where we were when Garl was under the weather that first time. And... Yeah, nothing of value. Nothing else of value. We are spent up here. Okay, well, it makes me wonder where that conch is then, because we didn't see anything just in a casual look about. One of my two brothers has recently found himself out of work. I asked to put out the word for him. Do you have to be aware of an opportunity fit for an innkeeper? Hell yeah! Yes, we do, in fact. Excellent. Cool. Well, isn't there somewhere else that needed a needed a thing, right? The spa or whatever. I don't know where that would where we would find somebody for that though. But okay. All right. Um. Like something. Yeah, that's my brother to make amends. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Your brother? Well, who the hell's your brother? Tell me who your brother is, like, and then I'll get on it, but... Hmm. I feel like it would be in this general area, right? That would make sense. Let's keep an eye out for our... Other thing. Oh, this dude's chopping trees over here now. Oh, maybe that place he was chopping before. Maybe that's where the, the conch is now. That would be kind of an interesting little thing about to do, right? Let's see. He's just over here, right? It's like right here on this tree or something. No, well, I guess there's nothing new there. Okay. Well, let's have a look around. Maybe it's in the water bits here? Oh. It looks like there would be something up there. That would be... Oh! Oh, I see. I see a thing here. Did we get this one already? Oh, we got that one already. Okay. So there's still one around here somewhere, then. Hmm. Maybe it's what we get for helping out that portrait, then. Think of where else we could go to find a... Another portrait that needs to do something here. Manor? This, this thing here? Oh, there. 
<laughs> it was eating a snack. I didn't know what it says. What does he want me to do? Give him some berry jam or portraits now? I can't. A berry jam, huh? Do we have any berry jam on hand? Probably not. That was like the, the lowest tier thing. Yeah, nah. Okay. Well, we've definitely got the materials for it. So let's, uh... Where can we do that? Can we do that in the inn, or do we have to pop outside of town and do a... Do a thing there instead. Alright, let's just pop out of town quick. Do a camp out, make some berry jam, and give it to this portrait. I don't know what the portrait's gonna do with some berry jam. I can't... I can't use it. I can't eat it. What's it gonna do? Also, how the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> I know there's a path off to the off to the east there, but is there? I thought there was one to the south. Maybe there's one to the south. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. This better not turn into a whole thing of uh Hey, you gotta make like 20 bajillion things before they'll consider this quest line done. There, we did it. Although I can see that being a thing. We've, I mean, we've been gathering recipes this entire time. We've hardly used any of them, though. I haven't really had to. But alright. List. Portrait is satisfied here. You here, you want some jam? Here. Yeah, what do we get for it? Ah, hey, look at that. It's the fucking conch. Alright. Is that the last thing here? A wheels champion. Well, I mean, like, I give a shit about a wheels champion, but I don't. <laughs> Half sunken tower. Okay. Uh, where's the half-sunken tower? Oh, probably over here? We get the ferryman to just do whatever we want now, since we technically helped them out. Uh, yeah, green flame. Flooded Graveyard. I don't know that we not need to go back to Flooded Graveyard, do we? I don't think this pops us back out to the overworld, does it? So we might have just wasted a bit of time doing this, but hey, it might, might not be a bad idea to kind of revisit here and take a poke around. See what we can see? So I think this is just the approach to Ramaya's place, right? And we already... beat the shit out of her, right? She told us to go away. Like, here, take your soul stone and a green flame and get the fuck out. of value around here. If there was, we would have probably done it. Because I think by this point in the game, we were keyed in on most of the... most of the secrety secrets. At least the ones we could get to at the time. These dudes will be a non-issue, even if they do try to get us. Ooh, that would have been a good secret down here. Just a screen transition to somewhere else. Uh, do I remember going over here? I must have? Was this something? Oh! This is something that I can... Hmm. Uh... Well, this is curious. Alright. So clearly there's something we can do here, but... 
what, what do I, what do I give it? Hmm. Okay, that might be worth uh, a little bit of investigation here. I think I do remember coming down here, seeing the exact same thing and being like, yeah, I'll take care of that later. Uh, with the exception of me forgetting about it <laughs> and not coming back later. Alright, let's have a look around then. Whoa, excuse me. This doesn't matter. There's not going to be that... It's not really going to be a problematic fight here, I don't think. Yeah, especially when we do that. Hit, you know, just fairly passable experience and then be on our way. Most of this we'd already gotten. No issue, because then I drop down there to do something. Wait, well, I wonder if we can talk to what's his nuts again. And be like, hey buddy, remember us? We're back. We kicked your ass. And then he led us through to talk to Romaya, which was probably a bad idea on his part, but, you know, did the thing. About. Oh, right. It's telling us how to move the rafts. Care about that? Oh, yeah, there he is. Maybe he'll tell us about the coffin there. Uh, if only you could remember. Oh man, we've got another side bit for this guy, too? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about your memories there, buddy. I can barely remember my own shit. Can't expect me to fucking... Remember stuff for you. Whoops, that was dumb. Shot everything anyways. This dude's gonna do a met random spell. Which ends up being nothing. Good job, buddy. Oh, I get that with one shot. Nope. Boy, 60,000 XP the next level. Yeah, definitely not gonna get it like this. Oh, right! Oh, hey! The symbols! Uh, okay, we're gonna take a, a quickie screenshot of that. Hold up, just a hot second. Grab that real quick. Okay, where was that? <laughs> where was the thing? Oh, that was the, uh... That was the thing, the other island, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember now. Um, okay, let me save this screenshot out to somewhere so I don't forget about this. On top of nuking dumbass bot spam. Get the fuck out of here. It's so dumb. Alright, um, yeah, okay. Red, whatever, green, whatever there, purple, whatever there. Okay, I think that's at that other island. Um, I really wish we had, like, a just a quick get the fuck out type thing here, but we don't, so we're gonna have to come back in here. Which is fine, I mean, it's not that big. Kind of annoying, I guess. Oh, can't do that. Um, well, can we, actually? It'd be great if we could just quick exit an area, but, alright, seems like a... a not thing here. Just while we're here, we may as well check in on the mine. Oh, maybe we could have done, like, a climb around before, huh? Probably. Yeah, we probably could have. Um... Alright. 
do that. was this? Oh, okay, so this is back behind here. Okay. Well, that'll be a quicker way back. As we go do the whole whatever thing for this, right? I think it was just this whole that thing up here, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Um, that has to be that. And this one is that. It's not that. It's not that. Not that. Okay, red, green, purple, and then one tick mark there. There we go. Interesting. I did this as well. Okay. No indication that it did something somewhere else either. Which is kind of fun. But we'll, we'll head our butts back there anyways just to make sure that nothing was unaffected by it. Unless this is really just a shortcut back into the into the place here. Ah, uh, which, yeah, kind of is. And it unlocks that thing. Okay. Oh, let's get I probably should have done the, the big hits on one of the zombos, so get out of there, but not bad regardless. Okay, yeah, I guess there's a quick way back here, and also whatever this is. Maya's journal? Okay. Uh, maybe this guy wants that. Here, why don't you read Ramaya's journal? I'm sure that'll cure your memory ails, right? Hmm. Well, there we go. A yellow flame. Ooh. Fancy. Okay. You know what? That's good. That's good stuff. I wonder if the ferryman will be back here if we have to take the, the secret passage back again. <laughs> I imagine they would be nice enough to put him back in this area and be like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm here to, to take you back to where you probably should be. Actually, where the hell is this pulling us around here? Oh, another thing we already did, actually. Good. Oh yeah, look at that. There he is. Alright, uh, yellow flame, please. Hmm? Past Sunken Tower. Okay, we wanted to get here anyways. Because there was a conscience shit. So ultimately, we did exactly what we needed to do. know it. I guess we'll pop a quick save. Not that any of this is going to be extremely dangerous at this point, because I imagine they wanted us to do this long, long ago. Oh, okay. Can't get back up there. I, I imagine there's a raft or something that we can do. Get up on these things. Hey, Omega Weapon. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I imagine they they want me to take a raft. Damn it, here I was being all clever and shit and be like, Hey, no, I, I ain't doing that. That's slow. Oh, 
Oh, uh, that guy actually looked a little bit beefier. Wait a minute. Oh, they are doing more than I would have expected. Okay. Oh, yeah, these are different enemies. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. Okay. I was expecting this to be like three areas ago type enemies. Hmm. Well, I guess either way, you probably did, anyways, huh? You just want to say the Thursday after things. Yep, it's, this is Thanksgiving week, so Thursday off is uh, typically the norm, and then present employment, in fact, just changed their PTO policy in the like the last month to actually respect that. So I actually get Thanksgiving off, like no questions asked, which is nice. That's cool. Like, I'm not usually one for... I don't give a shit about holidays, typically. Oops, I didn't mean to jump down. Um, but, you know, days off of work I fucking care about. That's cool and good. Um, and then I also took off Friday, because who wants to fucking be off of work on Thursday, go in for Friday, and then be off for the weekend? Like, nobody wants to do that. So, yeah. So, so Wednesday is my Friday this week, and then I've got a four-day weekend. Which is uh, always great. Love it. Super good. The following Monday is never great, but, you know, fuck it. Sometimes you gotta... You gotta give some to get some, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, these dudes are... are different. Oh, maybe they're the same enemies, just, like, beefed-up versions of it. <laughs> Strawberry gummy holiday? Hell yeah! I'd be into that. Fuck, I love strawberries. I would totally respect that holiday, honestly. Um, okay, so what do we've got? We've got poison, we've got uh, blade. What is um, Sarai's thing again? She does blade, right? Blade poison? So she's good for this. Yeah, she does the double blade and then Valer can just do the fucking eat shit, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you, and then he's out the queue, okay. Oh, well, wow. love both of those blocks. Um, and I, I would imagine that these... Oh, no, they are not. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. They're all... Well, I mean, he's weak to poison, but... You know, big boy fireballs two-thirds of the way there, I guess. Nice. Okay. Whatever he's gonna do, I don't know what... To do. Oh, alright, thanks. Finish the job, buddy. <laughs> thanks for finishing the job for me. Appreciate that. Oh wow, that gave us a lot of XP. Okay. So maybe this is like closer to mid to end game than than mid game. Oh hey, and there's a conch there too. Excellent. Perfect. That might be the one that uh, the parrot was talking about. I kind of hope it is. But I guess we've got a little bit more of this area to look around anyway. Um, we just had this little bit here, and then this area was kind of a little bit wide open, right? Well, let's, let's go this way. Yeah. i give you a rest area, too. Is there going to be like a... Oh yeah, this looks like a lead up to like a an optional boss type thing. All right, fine. We'll do it. We'll play their game. They don't just give you a rest point and a save point just for nothing, right? Uh, and this kind of looks like a bit where we where we fall down and break through too. So I, I get it. I think. Actually, I'm not 100% sure now. Looks like that would definitely be a place up there. There's definitely a place in the top right there as well. Okay, uh, let's look around a bit. Ah, I 
right here, perhaps. Oh, oh yeah, I see. So this is gonna probably bust that shit open, yeah? Or just drop it down so we can jump up there. Okay, that makes sense, too. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a drop down into shit there, too. Oh, come on, they don't even give me a chance to... Alright, whatever. What do we got here? Just normal-ass shit and resist everything else, huh? Okay. We've tasted these enemies. Okay, dance is around. Good. All right, what, do, what can you do now, Zale? Are you still like? Not the greatest of power. Okay, Valer, you can definitely finish this job, right? In fact, we could probably do... Sean could probably get that dude with splash damage, so fuck it. There we go. Good job. Got just Valer and Zale to clean this up. Beautiful. 5,000. Okay, so we're on our way to another level up before we get back to actual progress. That's good. That's the good stuff. Alright, does Ghost of Rashawn do anything? Oh, he does! Like, that would be just sick if he just didn't T-pose at all, since he's like just a shell of something, right? Oh, it's just this single ah figures something else. Uh, all right. Uh, I think Valer has slightly higher normal attack power. Yeah, 92, and then we can give Ghost of Rashan just a incredible hey you eat shit now type thing. Okay, 188 is pretty good. Oh, and he's just gonna do a bubble drop thing, that's fine. Easy read, easy read. Um, and I think, well, now it's down to Zale. Can Zale do 88? I don't remember if he does 88. Ah, one short? Are you fucking serious? Come on. That's a gimme if ever I've seen one. Good read on that one, though. Well, either way, Rashawn's gonna clean this up with, uh... If he gets the triple kill here, I'll be very impressed. Hot damn! Good job, Rashawn's ghost. Doing the work. I don't know what this is gonna do. Oh, hey, look at that. All right. All oh, right, because we gotta bust through to the to the lower bits. This makes sense. I mean, just wait for the beam to be clear and teleport to the other side. Yeah, I mean... These, uh... These enemies aren't too bright sometimes, are they? But, you know, what are you gonna do when you're... Fighting the, the literally faded... Children of the Solstice... In a mid-game area when they're already, like, end-game powered up? Like, they're fucked. They're fucked regardless, right? So what are you gonna do? Um, okay. Expecting there to be another side bit here, probably. Or not. That's very difficult to see. Okay. Where in the world are we? Oh, we're back in Ramina's place. And she's gonna be like, oh, what the fuck you doing here? And I'll be like, yeah, you know, just chilling. It's 
going to be the Ramaya refight for no particular reason here. Mm. All right. Now we're we're helping out uh, good old Butler Duke Aventry here, which apparently he's Duke Aventry. Did we know that? I don't know if we knew that already. Steal my journal and barge in here, making demand. I think we do. I think we do do this, Ramaya. Lock it. Okay, so it's a locket. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Look, Ramaya, that was on you. Okay, we didn't know what it was. You're the one who said it was a locket. You dummy. Ah, uh, you fucking dummy. And then bzz, here is just like, what? Who? <laughs> who the fuck is this? Uh, fucking great. What? This is, this is great writing. It's just absolutely the best. Um, oh, we don't have... Oh shit, we're kind of injured too. Um... Sarai, I need your help. Please give us a couple turns. A couple turns to deal with this, thank you. Cause then we can do this. Hundred bu- damn. Hundred's pretty good. Oh no, but now we've got poison and shit. Uh, Sarai, can you give us a, a minute? <laughs> there we go, thank you. Excellent. Um, alright. This is dumb bullshit again. Uh... Do we even want to bother doing the side? I guess we can take care of the side bits just in case. Um, I get... Yeah, I kind of want Rashawn's ghost in here for the party heal. Let's see what he does with a normal attack here. Eh, not bad, not bad. Oh, that doesn't look great. What the fuck are you doing up there? Alright, well, Valair, thankfully, you've got... Oh, damn, shit, damn. Uh. Well, we can't target her. <laughs> Unless we've got something. Sarai, do you have uh, enough for. Oh, you do have another enough for another kick. But it's not targeting Ramaya, so that's probably not gonna work, anyways. Well, I guess we can get in here. Do we have, like, an all target. Nah, that's single target. We have an all target combo that does blunt and moon. Here. No, that's single target. Single target. Single targets all the way around. I guess, like, Moonerang would do it, but. Uh, Sarai, what else do you have? Nothing. One target. Okay, well, let's get in here to inevitably get hit by whatever she's charging up, and then uh, do Moonerang, I guess. How much we got? How many are on the field right there? Three, I think? Yeah. Let's use one. And then we'll just do this to hopefully bust the fuck out of... Like, what is that going to do? Oh, that's going to do just the bottom bit. Alright, that's not what I was hoping for, but... Man, that bottom of the bone pile is gonna get its shit wrecked. Yeah, 198. Fuck you, bones. Oh, I see. That cost, uh... 500 out of that bone pile. Okay. Uh, I think this is those... Arcane. So, Sarai, you probably want... Poison on this little shit ass, right? 158 is pretty good. Oh, but then he's much more dangerous when you... Uh... Take away his whatever's, right? So we'll just let him keep his shit. I don't like whatever that's gonna be. Oh, I don't like whatever that is. Uh, that's resistant to pretty much everything except normal attacks. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, the good news is. We can get a party heal going on, which we kind of actually need, so... Let's do that. Oh, no, we can't, because Valera is locked out of actions. Oh, I don't like that. Fucking... 
want to like that at all. All right, here we go. Sword, sun, venom that hits all enemies. Is that pretty good? That's a two bit, right? Yeah. Let's let's do it. I'm just gonna panic tap shit and see what happens. Not. Oh damn. Nice. Okay. Got rid of dumbass idiot moron there. So let's get the lair out of jail here. Whoa, jeez. Tossing eyeballs at me now. Oh, okay, look at this. Lots of moons. Lots of uh, slash. Got a poison and a sun. Uh, do we have something that can do... Hmm. Arcane moons. Oh, wait, his... No, his thing does arcane. No, we don't need any of that. Like, Moonerang would take care of the three moons. We could do double blade with Zale. A poison blade with, uh... Well, double blade and a sun with Zale. A poison blade with... A, or a poison blade with Sarai, and then the two blunt would come from uh, probably the lair on the on the rotate. Uh, but we do need to, however. Uh, crap, this kind of sucks. We do need to get her down on the level here. So let's do this right quick. <laughs> there we go. Um, is that gonna be enough now? That should be enough. I mean, our alternative is to... Sarai, do you have enough for a delay? You do. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, that takes care of one blunt and the poison, so that's good. Uh, Zale, you'll do double blade and sun. Okay. And now we're back to normal stuff here, which is good. We will need now multiple moons, so Moonerang. As long as I don't fuck up the timing on any of this. Okay, we're good there. And we're max combo bits, which is super awesome. Gonna need a party heal for that soon. And then we can do... Well, we're gonna need in there anyways. Now we can do just a normal that, and then you know what? He has pound, yeah. Blunt attack here, so full fucking power. Eat shit, Ramaya. One fifteen, and get out the Q. Okay, and oops, I kind of did a bad there, honestly. <clears throat> but oh, we're almost to. Damn, I should have left one of those for. Uh... A Sarai counter here. Oh well. Uh, does, does she have enough for another delay? She doesn't. Well, that sucks. But, at the least, we can get... That taken care of. Not that it matters. Oh shit, what are you gonna do there? Oh, you know what? That's fine. Um... Honestly, I just want to do a... Probably a party heal here. How's everybody else? Everybody else is good. So we do need a party heal the way it is. Um, but I would like... What's he weak to? He's weak to poison. And we've been focusing down the normal bone pile there anyway. So let's do this with Zale's turn. Excellent. 196 is across the board. We'll deal. Easy read there, and then we've got... Oh, fuck, of course. Um, well, we do have a delay with... Uh... Or no, shit. It's not Rashan that does the delay with his ultimate. Is it? Damn, we're down to... Fuck, of course we burned Zeal's turn with that one. Shit. 
Well, I guess either way then. Let's get uh, Rashawn's ultimate on here. <laughs> Just for fucking grins. Because it looks pretty and it gives us a party heal, so whatever. He's gonna heal up. Nice. That took care of other- oh, that did delay too! Excellent. Okay. I'm gonna do Zale to get the delay there. Uh, Sarai has now got enough to do the thing. Give her a couple more things. Uh, let's get the lair back in here. She'll get, like, self heals for normal shit here, too. Oh boy, that's a problem. Uh, well, luckily, we can do one blunt in that there, uh, and we could also, in theory, do another delay here. This is just blunt and arcane, but that would take care of the, the blunt problem there, right? Ah, well, flubbed all but one there. So now we're pretty much golden, it doesn't matter. We could probably even, well, let's do Winnering. Yeah, I have a feeling we were supposed to do this fight a long time ago. Although they did have the, um, the dialogue in there for Bzz too, which makes me think they expected us to come back later. Much later. So that's fun. That's fun and cool, actually. I like that. Okay, two blade and a sun, and then Sarai will just do normal ass attack. Crack that one there. We've got two on the field, which is good. I should probably heal the lair for the rest, or more or less, right? And now we've got three on the field, but we've learned our lessons, so we'll go ahead and do just two power. 132 is not bad. Back to double combo, so we're ready to do another delay if we want to. Which we may as well, right? You gotta e use it. Oh wow, that was poor. <laughs> that was a poor showing. What are you gonna do though? Almost up to another another ultimate the way it is. You know what? Let's give a a healthy big boy fireball here too. Excellent. Okay, there goes one pile. Like to see it. And nothing but an eyeball thing there. And now we've got poison arcane, huh? Well, we've got somebody who can do that. On top of his ultimate being charged up. And what's this one week two? Sun. All right. Well, that doesn't matter. And in fact. I'm just gonna do this since we've got the the points to do it. And we may as well I mean we don't even need the heal. Who else has got an ultimate? Does Bzzit have an ultimate? He does! Oh right, I remember this. Yeah, this is great. Right, altered Bzzit. <laughs> That's fucking great. I think this is mostly a physical, physical damage, which is good. Two eighty-one, hot damn. Problems there. How many we got on the field? Two on the field right now. Uh. Blair for this one. It's the right choice, and she took the attack there. We've got three on the field, so another biggish boy fireball. Beautiful, there goes the other pile, and now we can just kinda 
Uh, no. I need to swap and then combo Arcane Barrage. <laughs> Wow, okay. It's totally fucking that up. That's alright though, I guess. Alright, she's dead. Sarai gets the kill. You're welcome, Sarai. I mean, whatever counts as a kill. Hmm. Yeah, at least Ramaya is smart enough to be like, No, man, you're kicking the shit out of me. Stop! <laughs> uh... Didn't earn. <laughs> we earned these powers, you fuck. Come on. There, we did it. Now we can go help Duke What's His Nuts. Duke Aventry, there you go. He's not quitting, he's fired. Uh oh, this is trying his best. <laughs> he is from a different world. Give him a break. I Jeez, Ramaya. Fucking. Jeez. That was cool, though. That was a fun. Oh, no, I was gonna go back and, and bother her again. <laughs> that was a fun fight. That was cool. Into it. It was good stuff. Got a pile of XP. Got to exercise. Oh, yeah, and then that's the exit here. Okay. Got to see a couple different ultimates and shit. Like, hell yeah. Good fight. And now we can wrap up the side quest. So, hey. Good news all the way around. Um, and I imagine that's all we can do here, unless there's another... Another thing we can get to with the rafts. Didn't really check out the left side very much, did we? Might be another conch or something. Like, yeah, here. Did we even do this? I remember doing this bit. Oh, well, nice. Jump right in. Ah! There we go. Oh. Oh, right, that's just the jump across to here. Yeah, okay, so I guess we got everything. Here's the initial entry point. Look okay, you got his Duke, I shall take you a lot. Alright, he didn't even fucking need a flame for that. Very good. Alright, good there. And then we just take the the upper path back to um, back to the Duke and be like, hey man, we got your locket. We had to kick the shit out of Ramaya for a, a second time, but we got your locket. And he'll be like, alright, that's cool, I guess. Who are you? <laughs> um, actually, where the fuck are we going? I thought it was just over here, but maybe I'm incorrect. I actually don't remember now. Oh, actually, no, I do remember. It was kind of further up. Uh, right here-ish, because then we climb up and... Oh! No, he's not in this area anymore. Um... Okay. I... Alright, I guess he's just somewhere else? Is he in the main bit? Like, do we have to go, like, tell him, hey, you gotta get the fuck out of here? She's, like, she's in a bad mood for some reason? Excuse me. Don't mind me. Or maybe he's like, well, actually no, that's, he might be probably at the initial bit. That might make more sense if he was back at the start, rather than actually in Ramaya's place here. Check there first. This will be super embarrassing if he's right at the dock where the what's his nuts left us, and I just ran right past him. It would definitely be a very me thing to do. Okay, now he's not there. So, 
Well, where the fuck is he then? Oh, maybe he's at his, um... Maybe this is the thing to open the grave. Or the, the tomb. That would be a kind of a nice wrap-up to this area, because I honestly don't... Oh no, there he is, right there. Hey, buddy. What's up? Here. Take this. Wilda, huh? Alright. There you go. Key to your coffin. Okay, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> One way or another. Alright, see ya! See you, buddy. Rip in peace there. There, Duke. Duke Aventry. Don't say we never helped you. Uh, oh, Eclipse Armor. Oh, good. Oh, and, and an Aventry. Oh, another story! Okay, that's fun. Um, I think we don't need the Eclipse Armor. Well, maybe we do. Actually, yeah, we do. Okay. Valera can take the other Eclipse Armor. Alright, I guess that was worth it. And that guy from Permanent Unpaid over time. That is the biggest W. Yeah, okay. You know what, when you put it that way, totally worth. Totally worth would do again. Unquestionably a W. Alright, uh, let's get the fuck out of here now. I think we're done here. See what that mouthy ass parrot has to say about this, though. It's like, hey, you're good enough to catch you, you dumbass. Be like, fuck you. Oh, there's treasure still in the necromancer's lair. Fuck, we were just there, weren't we? Do I care? Do I care about just basic bitch treasure? Probably not. Not right now. What else do we got? Okay, right. There's a conch and brisk. We can go get that. Since we're up to, what, 52? And we know there's at least 60. Right? Okay. We know there's at least 60. We know there's one over here in Brisk. I thought we'd gotten the last of them, but I guess that wasn't the last of them. Okay. But I'm guessing that's all of them that are, like, in plain sight. Because we did the one what with the, the two... Fisher people down here, right? They're like, oh, we gotta get, like, 30 fish or whatever. They're just like, no, you don't. Like, here's 30 fish. So I imagine there's some other side questy stuff we can do here to, to get a conch. Painter with true flair. That's probably a fucking side quest. But do we know... We don't know any painters. Oh, right! We, the, the, the business little thing is here, too, in the arena. Right, we gotta do that, actually. That might be fun. Um, where the fuck is it, though? Excited about the arena, blah, 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 blah. It was in, like, the fucking impact crater of the of the before times, right? When shit was going south. When shit was real bad and nobody knew what the fuck was gonna happen. Okay... Yeah, I have come here to check about the arena. Where is it? Alright, well... Oh. Bardcore. <laughs> ha. A good play on words there. Wheels champions, blah 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 blah. Nope, don't care. Magic shirt. Oh yeah, what's his nuts? Uh, not Valtrade. Was it Valtrade? Yeah, I think it was Valtrade. <coughs> Cheating ass motherfucker. Um, yeah, we don't need to go talk to the cook once. Yeah, the arena. Everybody's talking about the arena. Nobody's telling me where the arena is. Probably in a relatively conspicuous place, right? Nobody would be like, oh, well, there's this big arena, but nobody fucking knows. Just, like, you gotta find it, idiot. I feel like I'm the idiot in this scenario here. Fresh 
vegetable. I don't care about your vegetables. But I would like to sell my garbage here. So here. Oh, not that for some reason. That. Don't care about that. What else you got, though? I think all that's like nothing. Got all the rest. Here, where's the arena? No? Okay. Nobody wants to tell me where the arena is. Maybe it's like the main thing up to here. Oh, look at this motherfucker up here. He's just living his best life. Like, he doesn't need the little, the little inner tube floaty thing, I don't think, but... You know, I guess when you lean into relaxing, you lean into relaxing, huh? I'm gonna get up there and talk to him. Be like, hey, man. You, uh, you don't need that thing. <laughs> There's found destroyed, found a new one. Okay, good for you. Alright, here we go. Man, we should all be so lucky to live like this guy, right? Uh, uh, um... Uh, okay. Something... Something... Sandwich of tomatoes, something. <laughs> uh, something, something. I would say, please, something. Would you like to something, something on a baguette? Oh no, I would demand a different something, something. Good gravy. I no, I don't know French at all. This is just me just being a dummy. Something, something. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, tomato sandwich is what I got out of that. Guess what? We know how to make one of those. I think. Um. Yeah, it's just like the tomato club or whatever, right? So I think we've got enough stuff for that. Just head out of town, make a sandwich, and give it to that guy, I guess. And be like, hey, yeah, uh... I don't know French, but, you know, you said a couple words that sounded vaguely like tomato sandwich, and here's your tomato sandwich. Saying that a pita is, is lighter and the croissant is crispier. Okay, I mean, that does track, I think, with the, the context of what was going on. But even so... Oh, also, we can get a story from Teeks. Uh, we'll get a story from Teeks later. Let's, uh, let's make the dude his tomato sandwich. Um, which is the tomato club, right? And yeah, here you go. At least that's- I'm gonna assume that's what he wanted. It's whatever. Alright, I mean, look, a dude that relaxes that hard, though, you can't help but- but admire. Can't help but admire him. I can find no fault with what he was doing there. Now I gotta get back up to where he was. <laughs> this is gonna be the challenge in and of itself, honestly. Where the fuck was he? I think he was roughly over here. He was across a, a little tightrope walk, right? He was more or less on this side of town, though. Maybe not this far, though. Because there's the one dude, there's the one dude being like, Oh, my fucking spot was ruined or whatever. But I got a new spot. I'm like, yeah, good for you. And then we saw the other dude. Let's find, um... Okay, there we go. We gotta get up there now. Get on the other side. Right, because I'd gone up, kind of gone up the middle expecting to find the arena or whatever, but it wasn't. Uh, not that way, though. There's that dude, and... Oh, he moved! Wait, where'd he go? Wait, buddy! Um... He was right up there. Where'd he go? I've got your tomato sandwich, man! Where the f*** are you? 
crap. Great, now I've got a tomato sandwich jamming up my inventory. Fuck. Did he, did he say anything else? Like a hint as to where he was gonna be going there? Like aside from a pita being lighter and a croissant is crispier? Cause I, I like absorbed maybe 5% of what he said. At best. I guess we'll just kind of have a look around town and see if we can find him. There he is! Hey! Asshole! Tomato sandwich! Here. Uh, um... I... 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 No! But I made a tomato sandwich for you! Sir! I don't want this thing, you take it! <laughs> you shitter! <sighs> Alright, whatever. This do not doesn't matter, I guess. Secret spot, whatever. Okay, so where the fuck is the arena, then? Like, that's why we came here. Oh, I think it might be over there. All right, we gotta get on the other side of this damn boat in thing. Go visit the arena. Yeah, everybody's talking about the arena. Like, where the fuck is the? Where the... where is it? <laughs> everybody's hyping this fucking arena up, and nobody wants to tell me where it is. I think they're all they're all in on something. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh no, this is just the other side of the thing. Yeah, booming since the arena opened. Yeah, where the f is it? Is it a separate bit on the overworld, maybe? That might actually make more sense. Let's go check that. Or it could be... Ah, nah, let's go check the overworld first. Don't do it. I remember them saying something about an impact crater, blah blah blah, they built the arena right into it or something. And it's like, okay. That's cool. I thought it was, like, directly in the town now. Okay, no, I'm, I'm a dummy. I guess at the very least we should put into the party and be like, Hey man, we're trying to get you to the arena, but nobody wants to tell us where it is, so... I'm just gonna run around like a... Big dummy for a bit and hope for the best. Ask yes, this kid. Get a little shady. Mechanical machine fighting in the arena. Do you think it's true? I don't know. Where the fuck's the arena? I can tell you. It's like, oh yeah, you want to fucking blah blah blah. 5G, keep any contents. If you find the 10G grand pro 10G for the grand pro Wow, okay, well, let's not go overboard, Mr. Chest. Alright, yeah, I mean, we got the money. Sure, fuck it. Middle. Middle never fails. No, it kind of does fail, actually. Beats opening the empty one. Okay, so there's an empty, there's a 2G, and there's a 10G, huh? So we made back 40% of our fucking input. All right, middle. Damn it. What a shitter. All right, surely it would be middle now, right? Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. This is why I don't gamble. I'm terrible at it. Left time. There we go. There's one. Grand prize zoo number one. We gotta do that three more times, huh? All right. Let's try middle this time, huh? Ah, nuts and gum. Is it left every time? Okay, test test theory. Fucker, of course. 
<laughs> Little shit. Okay. That uh, was that 10? Yeah, alright. There we go. I think we've, we're pretty much broke even at this point. Alright. Right. Ah, nuts and gum. Okay, well, we just gotta get the 10G uh, twice more, right? And then we'll be like, yeah, hey, here's all your dumb money back. And I'll be like, I don't really need the money. That's why I'm doing this. I'm gambling the smart way by using money I can afford to lose. Hey, there we go. Lefties for the yeah nice there we go all right <clears throat> I think we're uh... oh cool that was the conch all right that's I don't know if I agree with that being one of the prizes but all right probably takes care of the remainder of the conches in this area then at least. Yeah, where the fuck is the arena? If it's this big fucking commercial attraction or whatever in this area, like, t where is it? Yeah, a lot of people smiling. I don't care about people smiling. Like, where the f is the arena? Got to, like, it was one of Bzzz's requests there to be like, hey, I, I want to prove myself. I know I'm just, uh. You know, a little. That's soul in the jar, essentially, but I want to. I want to test my might. You know, like the Mortal Kombat days. It's like, who, who are we to deny him, right? <clears throat> Next winning BS roulette number for 90 Gs. No, fuck you, man. A lot of G's. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> okay, is that the arena up there? I'm just gonna go in every door until we find... Ah, there we go! We found it! Alright, yes. Sign us up. We would like to fight... Village Fall Arena, they said blah 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 blah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Do have a rule limiting new entrance to a maximum of two sidekicks. That's the in-universe explanation for the party size. Alright. Also no items, which is fine. I don't use items anyways. Who wants to fucking fight with this? I think Valerian Zale, right? Yes. Let's... Oh, we're gonna have to work our way up from the bottom, huh? Alright. Take two of you with me, blah blah blah. Puppet could be amusing. Who else wants to join? Oh, shit! We don't even get a choice, huh? We're just gonna... Okay. Cool. Well, that's a way to get rid of player agency, I guess. And now Bzz is leading the party. That's funny as hell. Hell yeah, let's go. Whoa, who is this tiger-looking motherfucker? I'm sorry, excuse me? Wait. Uh, okay. Sure. This is company by Mighty Lunar Monk who saved our town, blah 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 blah, okay. Yeah, we did it. We're cool, we're here, yep. Yeah, everybody's fucking hyped for this. Clear the bronze rank. So it's just this is gonna be like a, a series of normal ass fucking battles, just dressed up as a. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, okay, I get it. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to do nothing about that for now. Pretty much just need that so we can do get Valer to knock that fucker out the queue. Seem to be doing pretty much the 
same amount of damage regardless. 100 bu- damn, okay. That fucker's going down, more or less. Alright, what do we got there? Another moon thing. Actually, we could probably just... How much does he got left? 61? Probably just do this. Probably get him out of there, eh, more or less. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna be doing more here. Probably that one, but... We'll just get him out of here anyways. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do. Heal? Oh, oh no! Delaying the inevitable, how dare you? There. Rising upward him out of fucking existence. Oh, I'm bouncing, brother. So, yeah, whoa, whoa, scary. The, the three tiers of... The, the three pallet swaps of this sprite. <laughs> what do we got? Double poison? I mean, I guess Rashawn technically counts as poison, right? Well, arcane, more or less. Oh yeah, it does count as natural poison. That's fun. Nice. Oh, kind of flubbed that one. Did we get healed in between here? Take more damage from blade. Oh, figures. None of our folks is blade. Well, I mean, already doing a pretty, pretty goodly amount there the way it is. Uh, we've got moon, blood of whatever there. All right, we'll give Valer one <coughs> to get this guy out the queue. And then we'll give Rashan the two to just probably get a triple kill here. Not quite. Pretty close, though. Pretty dang close. Okay, the Goggle Goof Group. Okay, yeah, these three. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Strike a pose, baby. Alright. That's fine. Uh, what do we got? Poison, whatever, whatever. Okay, we didn't get healed in between. We lost all our combo bits, too. That's... That's stupid. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So what do we got? Uh... I guess it doesn't really matter either way, right? We'll get the poison out of both of them, and then we'll need to... Oh, yeah, just beat the shit out of them. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. And then... I think this is the normal sprite, right? Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Thank you. Oh. That's all it does. It's not really that big a deal. Oh wait, uh, here. Sean, because he does poison damage anyways. Excellent. Oh, and then he just runs away. Fucking coward. I guess we don't get any XP from this fight anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so as expected, the low tier thing was, uh, you know, particularly challenging. But I imagine that as we move up, we're gonna get a different party comp, I imagine, right? Yeah, that's what I thought.
And I hope that uh, healed us in between, and it did not, so that's fucking cool as hell. Um... Can we rethink this, or... Yeah, I want to quit, because I want to, like, heal up. I thought it would do us the solid of, you know, auto-healing us in between, but no, I'm wrong. Um... Oh, right, there was this whole bit with the fancy whatever, right? We have a reservation? No, we do not, in fact, have a reservation. So that's probably another side bit. Maybe we get that as the arena prize or whatever. Okay. Well, now that we know where the arena actually is, Maybe, uh, come back to this next time. After we're healed up or whatever. Jesus, they don't make it easy to get back to, do they? But alright, that's, you know, where's our third party member? Bzz, where'd I, what happened to you? <laughs> alright, you just get lost in the city, that's fine, whatever. Okay, um, well, we can do his thing later then, that's fine. Um, uh, there's a conch left. Okay, that's probably the arena fights, I would imagine. It says it's all clear, but then it's got that star with an exclamation mark in it. And this one, too. Hmm. That makes me wonder a little bit, then. Fishing thing there. It's not what I wanted. We need to find wherever the the bit is that has the um, the door, the door that we opened with the five other solstice shrine things. Makes me wonder where that is. I mean, unless it was, it would be if it's on Settlers, Settlers Island, that would be okay, honestly. I don't think it is. Yeah, because this is the, the Kickstarter backer thing. <laughs> Which is honestly an extremely good way to do it. Like, that's fun and cool. I'm sad I missed out on it. Um, I do not have a code, actually. Um, but I would like to find where the other shrine stuff is, though. It's probably not here. Oh, but we did, um, get the thing... the person which is gonna run the inn here, yeah? So we can check on that and also heal up, right? And this is the spa, right? Yeah, relaxation professional. I don't know where the fuck we're gonna go to find that. Oh, look at this motherfucker, Lambert. Okay. All right, notable establishment. Can we use it? Let's rest. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna rest with that fucking banger going on in the background, but you know we'll try. Fucking little mini squid on the flute is just going wild. All right, okay. Um, yeah, we really don't need anything else from here, I don't think. Unless there was a thing here, and we just kind of. about the wheels champion okay there's a conch left in the skylands right 
and we can get there with this... Not over here, clearly, but... Uh, well, I mean, we could do this, right? Because we can go to... Um, be like, hey, buddy. Uh, let's go to... Hunty. Oh shit, did it say which area it was? <laughs> did it say which area it was in? Uh, treasure in Cloud Kingdom. Okay, fine, whatever. Conch left in Cloud Kingdom. Okay, so we just gotta look around. Oh, hey, treasure. Yeah, gee. Okay, well, there's another story. Cool. We've got two stories coming up. And not the explosive kind. Unfortunate, though it may be. Got another conch somewhere. Can we talk to this guy, Council? No, they're just kind of like, nah, man, fuck you. Get out of here. I'm like, alright, that's fair. Hmm. What the fuck was this? Oh, is this, is there an actual overworld bit to this? Oh, no shit, there is. Oh, but we know there's a... We know it's in the Cloud Kingdom bit. Man, the, the variations they use on the Messenger OST bits are so good. So fucking good. What a great play. Um... It's a great name, it's good ever Sky Serpent, blah blah blah, yeah, that's fine, but it's fine and cool, I guess. No, I want the the conch. Where's the, the conch? There's not very many places we can go here, presumably, so uh, uh Okay, well Craftsman, here take this garbage. What else you got? Anything? Aside from stuff that's clearly outclassed by what we got. Oh, the music sheet. I forgot we didn't have the money for that last time. Nothing else here. There's an interaction point here. There we go. Something something long has it been since the Sea of Stars, etc. etc. Yep, okay. There's the exit point. Okay, but where is the where's the conch though? <laughs> Trying to look out for the little bits that might be uh a little hidden, but it's not standing out. Several places here that would be rife for just barely hiding the thing, right? But I don't see any of them. Behind one of these would be a good spot. In the shop would be a good spot. Like, up there would have been a really good spot. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna just gonna climb up on the hammer and get up there. Like, that would have been a real good, really good spot for that, honestly. But I didn't do that. Check the, the throne room area, right? Or the council chambers, I guess. There was already one here that we got. Am I 
They probably wouldn't, they wouldn't hide a second one in the same bit, right? Yeah, no, they wouldn't do that. That would be kind of silly. Okay. Uh, no, not any of those just yet. Sounds like a little bit of a side bit here, but maybe not. I think it just loops us back around. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, unless there's a, a different entrance to the Cloud Kingdom area thing that we need to do. It's possible, I guess. Nothing obvious here. Alright, maybe there's a, another bit to it. Can we, oh yeah, we technically can. Okay. Eh? Eh? Okay, well, they pen you into a relatively small area here. entrances that we can land near. And aside from that, but does this count? I mean, not really. This is an entirely differently named area. Because this is where we got the, the Zephyr thing from, right? That's probably not what they meant. Cool as this area was, like most of these areas have been very, very clever and very enjoyable to complete. So I don't mind revisiting them, but I don't think there's a thing back here anyways. So I'm real curious as to like what else they want me to, what else do they want me to explore in this bit here. I mean, unless it is, like, a, something that only appears at night versus day, right? That could be a thing, I guess. I mean, on top of getting different music, which is also cool for its own reasons, of course. Let's make another circuit around here. Like, I would expect, like, that little copse of trees back there is a little suspicious. But I don't think I can get to there. That would be something. Hidden jump up points or screen transitions or whatever. Okay. You know, I imagine once I find this, I'm gonna feel right stupid about it because I've probably walked by it three or four times by now. Because that's the way out of here. They would have. If they had hidden behind there or something, that would have been something. But no such luck. This is just the southern exit out of here, and I can't get around anywhere else, right? Hmm. 
I'm not stupid, right? Like, it did say there was a thing here. Yeah. Cloud Kingdom. Okay, I mean, this motherfucking falcon-eyed parrot better not be lying to me. Let's just double check there's, there's not another, like, secret entrance somewhere on the overworld. I mean, unless... I, unless there's something in the little fishing area, if that counts. I, I figured I would have checked this already, though. If this is indeed the case. Because I was generally pretty good... Oops, I don't need to actually fish. I was generally pretty good about checking these areas. Knowing how adventure games be, and being like, Yeah, you, you found a thing in, in, a, in an area that you thought was a, a one, one trick thing, right? <laughs> That's funny, this is a floating bottle. That's funny. While we're swimming. That's a good... That's a good thing right there. Alright, nope, nothing in the little fishy bit here. They still want me to find like eight more of these things, which is fucking bizarre. Because I can't imagine that there's still treasure in a flesh mancer's lair, whatever. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go there, anyways, right? All clear. There's still treasure there. All clear, treasure there, all clear, all clear, all clear. Oh, and there's a conch on Cerulean Island in Rapine. And also in the throne of the queen that was, which I think is the, like, the Teak's little labyrinth hint stuff that we gotta figure out and probably write down. Wild. Okay. Well, damn it! Well, I'm here. I want to find this. Oh, fuck me! I want to find this conch. <laughs> That's what we came here for. How dare! How dare they make a secrety secret actually secret? Like, where in the f would it be? We already found the one that was in the little council chambers. Whatever, we got that. Pretty con confident that it's not there. Oh, this would have been a good, like, drop-down secret right here. But they didn't do that. How about here? Oh. They could have done some work with that. Oh, no. Okay, it's not... Like, we checked the shop, like, three times, and it wasn't in there, right? Absolutely nothing. We can't climb on nothing. We can't hook shot to nothing. Oh! <clears throat> Back behind here would have been a good spot for it, too. Like, just, like, show the tiniest corner of it? That would have been super good. But no. No. Nothing back here. Mm. Or climbing up and climbing up there, like we mentioned before, would have been a good spot. No. Nothing in the shop. Okay. Nothing here, nothing there. That looks like a suspicious area kind of down there, but I can't... I don't think I can get there. Wait, what was up here? Did we ever check up here? Oh, this is the inn. Supposedly, right? Okay, um... But a good, been a good spot for one around here somewhere too, but that doesn't appear to be. No, I don't want to play wheels. Sorry. I want to find the damn conch. Is what I want to do. Here, do I have to fucking take a rest? Does it only appear after we use the inn? Fuck me. Yes, that was right. Why? <laughs> God damn it. Come on. Oh, I hate being right. Oh, this is so dumb. 
Okay. Well, shit. Let's while we're here, let's console ourselves with a couple stories, I guess. Can at least hear a couple stories from Teeks to 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 dull the sting of this. All right, Paradise Lost. Sure. The will do is okay. This is the story about uh, Duke What's His Nuts and uh, some relation, I would imagine. Well, there was a fair leader who cared not for titles. Story says she spent equal time at Aventry, Duke Aventry, there we go, at Aventry Manor as uh, she did in town with her people. Under her reign, Lucent knew prosperity and upheld its title as Bastion of Light like never before. By her side was Duke Aventry, a proud noble and fierce defender of his land and people. Ah, okay, good guy, Duke Aventry. Ever stalwart, it is said that the flame of his dedication to Lucent burned only cooler than that of his fiery love for a Wilda. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't do the, the roll of my voice, but, you know, whatever. Uh, despite the living threat of the Clockwork Castle, they managed to keep their people safe, happy, and hopeful. One night, during a long journey abroad like so many others, Duke Aventry was awoken by an emissary carrying urgent orders. Wilda demanded that he return to Lucent at once, offering no explanation beyond hinting at some dire threat. When the Duke arrived, he was greeted by a raging firestorm. A sizable portion of the land was burning, but there were no enemy forces in sight. Sun Solstice Warrior had turned evil. Boy, we don't know what that's like. Hiding somewhere on the island, he would come out once a day to deplete his powers, slowly burning away at the landscape. Thanks to the Trail of Conflagration, great word, by the way, he was easily tracked. Their fight persisted for days on end, but for all his might, Duke Aventry was unable to defeat the evil Solstice Warrior. Seeing the collateral damage caused by their battle, he accepted they were at a stalemate and retreated in order to avoid further destruction of his already bleeding land. Hey, okay, you know, harm reduction, I get it. Struck by despair in the face of his, of his inability to protect his people, Duke Aventry let his guard down and in walked the enemy. Fleshmancer Acolyte II approached in disguise and offered him a magic shard. Now oh, I see. This ancient shard was made by the Ovates themselves. She lied, fully aware of Duke Aventry's weakened state of mind. It will shroud your island in complete darkness for one day. Didn't mention that the day would last forever, right? Like, that's the that's the deal here? Enemy's powers would, but... Playing to Duke Aventry's sense of honor, two gave him the final nudge. The Solstice Warrior hasn't been playing by the rules either. I mean, probably true. Went evil, rogue, traitor, etc. <clears throat> Surely you wish to protect your people, she asked. Duke Aventry accepted the shard and thanked her for her help. Simply smashed the shard with conviction and its magic will awaken. Wasted no time in smashing the shard, and by voluntarily activating the curse on his island, played right into the Acolyte's hands. Go figure. Everything went fine at first. The Night Shroud covered the land, and Duke Aventry made short work of the weakened Solstice Warrior. Fuck you, traitor. As celebrations began, they put out a call for wind mages to gather waves strong enough to flood the eastern part of the island to put out the fire, right? Flames were extinguished at last, but in doing so, those areas were transformed into the famous swamps we know today. Okay. Change welcomed by all, for it came hand in hand with their victory. It took a few weeks until it became clear to all that the Night Shroud would never recede. Oops! We did a fucking bad, apparently. Despite overwhelming support from his people, Duke Aventry could not forgive himself for his mistake. Finally realizing who had given them the magic shard, he departed for the Clockwork Castle. On that day, Duke Aventry played in the Eclite's heads for the second time. First thing you do when you find yourself as in, into, in a hole is to stop digging, right? While he was away, Fleshmancer Acolyte three infiltrated Aventry Manor and killed Iwilda. Oops. Thus was the ritual completed, and a seed of evil was planted in the mansion which, a few centuries later, would grow into the Dweller of Woe. Ugh. Completely defeated over the following days, Duke Aventry died of sadness and despair. Not a great way to go. As if fate hadn't been cruel enough, over 200 years later, Romea found his urn and raised him from the dead to be her bodyguard. Well, shit. To add insult to injury and death. For decades, the Duke roamed the swamps he once ruled over, his memory completely gone, feeling nothing save for an unexplainable sadness. In thoughts of clarity, he would feel a brief but very deep yearning for something he just couldn't put his finger on. Such was the Duke's lot for half a century, until one day, young Solstice Warriors reclaimed a Wilda's locket and brought it to him. Hey, that's us! We've lived this history. Memory now restored, Duke Aventry smashed the locket, and in doing so broke the tether binding his soul to the material plane. Long last he found peace, after we kicked his ass a second time, uh, and was free to leave this world. The end. Damn, that was a long ass story. But, you know, valid, valid story. All right, let's hear, the, hear about this last one. What was it, uh, the Kukar the Unyielding? Um, 
feels like a, a sky sky island sky kingdom person right of the many events from the time of the ovates many consider the foundation of the kingdom in the clouds to be the most significant it was back in the early days when the world was still being shaped once they had completed the islands they started working on the travel golems oh okay the ovates first built yeet and extol and rejoiced at the ease with which they could activate them using their power words. But for Mesa Island, something more was needed. A sentient golem. One that would not simply obey commands, but carry purpose. Oh yeah, the, the big mouth guy, right? The reason for this... The reason was that the spe specific island was at sea level. But as the Oviates had seen in their dreams, it needed to be propped up way higher. Indeed, in the future there would be a great flood, and for this world to survive... Oh shit, is the rest of his body, like, below water? That's kind of wild. Uh, Mesa Island would have to remain above water. Although that future was a very distant one, the Ovates remained as selfless as ever in their dedication to harmony and balance. Thus they built Kukar, but alas found themselves unable to get it sub give it sentience. Ever embracing the flow of things, they have firm the belief that their part in saving Mesa Island had been played. They moved on to completing the vision they had seen in a shared dream, and from the essence of the very clouds, conjured the Sky Giants. There would come a time when the Ovates would go extinct, and it would follow the Sky Giants to keep watch. They would be tasked with establishing a council in the clouds to oversee three very important things. First, of which was to keep over watch over the elements. While the flood was unavoidable, maintaining balance would remain a challenge unless new abates arose. Secondly, they would be the gatekeepers of the Sea of Stars, carefully vetting those who would seek to travel between worlds. Okay, that tracks. Lastly, there was a the matter of Kukar. Not sentient, but definitely maybe not going to drown. Uh, it remained incomplete, so they would need to be on the lookout for a wielder of magic potent enough to make the construct sentient. In the end, it was the Great Eagle, okay, name drop, very good, who helped them in this. Nowadays, few are aware of Kukar's purpose, most believing it to be nothing more than an impressive feat of masonry. I mean, you, you make a face that looks like it's about to come alive, I guess that's a pretty, pretty important feat. Uh, and even from a prophetic standpoint, there's no real way to know whether it will stand withstand the coming flood. I mean, clearly it did, right? But until then, Kukar's role would remain a passive one. Holding on with an ever-firm grip, it would stand tall. Inspiring mortals is a testament to stoicism and true dedication. One only need lay eyes upon the construct once to understand where it got its title of Kukar the Unyielding. That's a pretty fucking sick title, to be honest. <laughs> the end. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Teeks, and we popped a Chivo for listening to all of those, so, alright. Excellent. We did, we did a good. We've done a good. We got, presumably, the conch that was here. Uh, and it is just in time to be done for tonight, so... Good going. Good going, as always. We have delayed the end of Sea of Stars by another night. Congratulations, us. Alright, that's good. Because we're having a good time doing the side bits, too. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take what we can get. Uh, so that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. Back to Sea of Stars one more time, it seems, uh, if we decide to do the the path of progression in, into what is probably, who knows, but probably, uh, the final boss, the big bad of sorts. Um, so we'll see what happens come Wednesday. Um, Thursday we're off because, you know, holiday times and all that, and I won't even be around, so, you know, whatever. Uh, we're also off on Friday and Saturday, so that leaves, uh, next stream after Wednesday to be Sunday night, <clears throat> 7 p.m. CST. It'd be a long play, so more Spelunky too. I think we're gonna try the randomizer again, uh, despite not doing very well yesterday with it. It was a lot of fun, and I want to play it again, so, uh, we'll do that on Sunday. And then... Um, next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, assuming we don't finish Sea of Stars on Wednesday, it'll be more Sea of Stars. But if we do manage to put, uh, Sea of Stars to bed on Wednesday, then it will be a new game, uh, next Monday. But we'll see, that's a problem for future us. Uh, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.